Major John Madden in my camper van. It's my little sound studio. It's a beautiful day, and I feel a little guilty. I've been out in it a fair bit, but my creativity seems to be going crazy this morning. The muse is working through me. She's got me by the short hairs. And especially now, I've been talking a lot about men and women. I've been in Mexico for eight months. I get to see a whole different dynamic between men and women, totally different from what's going on in certain sections of the U.S. I want to be scrupulous about saying it's certain sections. What I'm really defined, describing is what's going on between white, middle-class, entitled, vocal, educated, city women who currently have the microphone in the U.S. about gender relationships and have cooked up this whole thing about toxic masculinity. Now, men hanging out with other men, being themselves, not trying to live up to women's expectations, would pretty quickly say, well, what about toxic femininity? You're, you're putting the whole thing on men as if the current crazy dynamic in the U.S. is all men's doing, and it's not. There's been generations of men oppressing women of a glass ceiling, that for sure. But now the women have got the upper hand in the public dialogue. And they're using it. Oh, baby, are they whipping the men? And it's not happening in Mexico. When I describe this dynamic to educated, you know, thoughtful women in Mexico, I'll say, what do you think about that? And they say, it's a mess. What a terrible situation in the U.S. In Mexico, women love their men. They just... It's not that they're second-class citizens because they're not anymore. It may have been true at one point that there was the whole macho dynamic and women lived in the shadows, but it's not true now. 50% of the Mexican Congress is women. The two main candidates for president are women. Women's empowerment is happening all over Mexico. When I say to a woman, do you agree that there's a problem with macho men in Mexico who dominate their women? They say, no, no. No, maybe my parents' generation or before that, but not now. It's not what goes on. I have not in eight months 